Well, everybody, uh, I would say this is a pretty big change of plans. I'm going to take the brackets that uh, I made before and pretty much just chuck them in the garbage. I mocked the truck all up on the uh, weekend and I really didn't like the way it sat. It wasn't low enough for me. I want the truck to be down fairly close to the ground, lower center of gravity. So now I'm going to cut a big notch out of the frame and move the whole subframe up. And I think I'm just going to cut these ears off the outside of the subframe and I'm going to weld it solid to the old frame. I've got some uh, square tubing. I'm going to run it across the front and it's actually uh, the front of the subframe. And it's actually going to sit right in here and it'll carry the load right across the whole subframe, both there and there. And that should make it pretty stiff too. No more worries about flex. Not too worried about vibration or it being harsh riding or anything because in the car the subframe is bolted to the unibody of the Mustang. But on this frame, I mean the cab sits on rubber mounts, so it still be separate from where you ride. Should still be fine. Plus, I mean this isn't a Cadillac, it's uh, a hot rod. So it's not like it's real quiet and uh, buzz free as is. I mean, the exhaust is pretty loud, or at least it was, and it will be again. Uh, especially if I can manage to route two three-inch pipes through. Uh, still have mufflers on it, but anyways, that's for later on. But now, I guess, uh, I'm going to start cutting and see if I can get this thing up to where I want it. Okay, this is where I am at now. I've uh, scribed out the whole subframe. Like I showed in the last little clip there and uh, made all my cuts. The uh, subframe actually sits in there just about perfect. So I'm going to go back and uh, clean up everything here. Do a little bit of bracing on the inside, I think. A little bit of welding. And then I'm going to bring the subframe up to meet the frame for the final time. And it'll get welded into place. Started uh, cleaning off the subframe. So I'll have a nice place to weld on it, so I'll weld it all the way around both sides. And then I'm going to come back in along the inside and kind of box in the frame, at least as far as this front cross member. Okay, today's the day. This subframe is going to go under the truck for the final time, I hope. I'm going to get it slid under there, and uh, I got everything cleaned up where I'm going to weld it. So. Got all the rust off and ground it nice and shiny. So hopefully we get a nice weld there. I'm also gonna show everybody how I lift it up uh, using my engine crane. It's the same way I did the Crown Vic swap up front. It's a really easy way to lift the whole subframe up. And when it's setting on the legs on the crane, you can just roll it in and out from under the truck. It makes it super easy. Even kind of level it up and down with the rocket strap. It's works really well. There it is. I've got just enough pressure on it, and it stays where it 
it needs to be. Uh, I'm going to make some measurements and make sure everything is squared up and the right distance back. I took some measurements from the factory axle and I've been using the front spring hanger as a reference point, but I'll also check it from hub to hub, make sure everything's good. When I did the crown big swap up front, uh, when we aligned it, it was in 0 0.01 on the thrust angle. Uh, super happy with that, the truck drives awesome. Uh, we wanna make sure it drives even better this year. Okay, so there it is. Uh, I just got it tacked in for now. But uh, as you can see, I really took my time when I was making the cuts on the frame just to get it as tight as I could. So there wasn't much of a gap that I'll have to weld. Uh, I'll have to go back and do some filler in here. And I think I can close that gap up there. Uh, I'm gonna run a little plate on the inside down to the back here. And then once it's all welded, you kind of see it on that side there too. Once it's all welded in, I'm going to come back and just plate in, box in the frame, probably just back to about here. Or maybe the mount. We'll see. Just like everything that kind of gets built as I go, I'm going to have to fill in a bit of a gap there. I'm just going to build a few little pieces uh, just because the shape of the frame, it's as tight as I could get it. But it is sitting solid right on the top of that mount there. So it's going to be fine. Just a whole bunch of welding and cutting ahead of me. But uh, that's that until it comes time to build the spring perches and the shock mounts, which will be a whole nother adventure. But uh, get this part all finished up first and I'll go from there. Okay, there it is. It's uh, hanging on its own. Got uh, a few beads welded on there. I don't want to get it too hot and twist anything up, but uh, it's coming together nicely. Pretty happy with uh, how it welds. Just got a whole bunch more uh, welding and boxing and plating to do, but uh, there it is. A 2017 Mustang independent rear suspension and a 1971 F100. So next up after I get this done, it's going to be onto the gas tank, which I'm moving into the back using a 70 Mustang fuel tank. A uh, little concerned that uh, the sway bar here and the very rear of the subframe might kind of get in my way, but uh, we'll find out as I go. And I'll keep filming these videos. If uh, people keep watching, you can like and subscribe to my channel. Appreciate that. And until the next time, thank you.